In this video, I will show you how to recode a variable using the mutate and case when functions of the tidyverse. First, we'll load the Haven and tidyverse packages, and then import the Harry Potter dataset. The first question in this survey asks participants to flip a coin. And when we look at the data set by opening the environment tab and then clicking its name, we see that Qualtrics recorded heads and tails as ones and twos. This raises some obvious questions like, what does one mean? What does two mean? Because we used Haven to import the SPSS file, the value label that indicates the meaning of one and two is saved. And you can see the label just by asking RStudio to print out the variable coin flip. So I will insert a new R chunk, and I will just ask RStudio to print out coin flip. Now we can see that one represents heads and two represents tails. For some analyses, it will be more useful to use the labels rather than the numbers 1 and 2, just because the labels are meaningful. To do that, we will recode coin flip into a new variable with values heads and tails. I'll start by inserting a new R chunk. I'm going to start with dataset, and I'm going to pipe that to the mutate function. The mutate function creates a new variable and adds it to the end of the table or data set. First we'll tell mutate the name of the new variable. In this case we'll call it coin flip factor. Next we'll tell mutate how to create the new variable. In this case we'll use the case when function. In the case when coin flip equals 1, we want coin flip factor to equal heads. But in the case where coin flip equals 2, we want coin flip factor to equal tails. Then we're going to save this new table back into the data set called, um, back into the variable called data set. I'm going to run this code chunk. And when I look at the data set and scroll all the way to the right, I will see a new variable called coin flip factor that consists of heads and tails rather than ones and twos. Now sometimes you need to dummy code a variable. Dummy codes use ones and zeros. So let's recode coin flip so that one means heads were flipped and zero means heads were not flipped. I'm going to copy this previous code chunk and change some of the values. We'll change the name of the new variable. I'm going to call this one flipped heads dummy. And in the case when coin flip equals one, we would like coin flipped heads dummy to equal one. But in the case when coin flip equals 2, we'd like flipped heads dummy to equal 0. And then we will save this data set again back in this new column again back into the data set variable. And after running this code, if we look at our data set and we scroll all the way to the right, we should now see that there is a new variable called flipped heads dummy that has a 1 wherever coin flip factor has heads and has a 0 wherever coin flip factor has tails.